My name is Eva Helps with Siler Design Solutions and welcome to today's little tutorial on updating your Autodesk licensing service and single sign-on component through your Autodesk account. Just wanted to make a note that it is June of 2024 I'm saying that because there are different ways to update your Autodesk software and at this particular time we're going to go through how to do that through your Autodesk account online. Head to your web browser and type in manage.autodesk.com. This will take you to your sign-in for your Autodesk account. Type in your email and password that you use to sign in to Autodesk software and your Autodesk account, and that should bring you to your home page. You can select from the left-hand column, Product Updates. This is where we're going to start. And in the filter here, you're going to want to select both the single sign-on component and the licensing manager. Hit apply and this will isolate that single sign-on component and licensing service update that are available at this time. These two are particularly important because regardless of what type of Autodesk software you have to make your uh, single sign-on license function and software function properly, you're going to need these updates. You want to select the ones that apply to your system. In this case, it's going to be Windows for my particular computer. So I'm going to select the single sign-on component for the update for the Windows and also the Autodesk licensing service update and go ahead and select download. Your computer will start downloading these. And while it's downloading these, we're going to also take a look at how to update your particular software. In this case, I'm going to use Civil 3D of version 2025. So seeing if there's any updates for your particular version and software through that filter as well. You can see there are three here. I'm just going to go ahead and go with the will update for the software, not the object enabler or infrastructure parts editor. So I'm going to select that, hit download again, and look up here and see that the licensing service and installer have already downloaded, so I'm going to go to that folder where those have downloaded. This will open up your file explorer where those files are located, and usually that's the downloads folder is the default folder for that. You'll see the three files we have downloaded here, and you can double click on these one at a time, walking through the steps to install these downloads and update your software. Before you install any of these updates, you want to make sure that you have all of your Autodesk software closed out. Another best practice is to make sure you reboot your machine after installing all the updates. And from there, everything should be running smoothly. But if you do run into any issues, feel free to reach out to us at Siler Design Solutions and we can help get those issues resolved. Thanks for watching. My name's Eva Helps with Siler Design Solutions. You can reach out to me at ehelps at siler-ds.com or the whole CAD technical team at cadtechnical at silerinst.com. Or you can head over to www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog and you can subscribe to our blogs, newsletter, and take a look at the other services and training that we can provide. Thanks.